Hey, what's up guys? This is Ryan with Seek Outside and today I'm going to show you how to install the Red Cliff liner into your Red Cliff tent. Alright, so first things first, we're going to take this thing out of the bag. Um, and what you'll see is this will come with a bunch of these black cordage links. Um, and you'll just want to run these through every single one of your line locks, which will be, if you hold the liner up, they'll be on the bottom here. So once you do that, you'll be ready to install this thing. And so this process is going to be the same for whether you're installing the half liner or the full liner. Um, obviously the full liner is just two half liners, so you'll just repeat this process if you do have the full liner. But um, as you can see in here, up top, we have a bunch of these little uh, sewn-in loops uh, just about two feet from the top of the tent. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our liner and you'll see that uh, up top we have a bunch of these tactical toggles. Um, and the way that you can tell this liner is going to be set up the, the right orientation is you want the tag facing towards the tent here. Um, and you can also see uh, about midway up these liners, we have another tactical toggle and this is going to go uh, to one of the loops uh, in, the, in the middle of the tent there. But just make sure that you got this thing facing the right way. Um, so we're going to go back up here to the top and just install each one of these tac tactical toggles right through this loop here. Just going to go all the way around with these. Next thing that you're going to do is you're going to, um, as you can see right here on the guy out point, uh, there's a little D loop. That's where you're going to put your middle tactical toggle and that's just going to keep this thing taut. And then you're on to the final step which is just going to be uh, tying this thing in. Um, and as you can see on the back, on the inside of each one of our stakeout loops we have another loop on the inside and that is going to be where you're going to tie this liner into. Now, it doesn't really matter what kind of knot you want to use. Um, you know, if you want to take this thing in and out, obviously make something a little bit easier to pull out. Um, but you can also, if you're going to just keep this liner in the whole time, you can make it a more complex permanent knot. Um, but I'm just going to do a quick little, it's kind of like a fisherman's knot here. Cinch that down, pull your line lock, boom. So after I got that first one, I'm just gonna go ahead and tie all these into those inner loops on the opposite side of the stakeout points. Just twist that around a couple times, go back under, cinch it tight. And that is how you install the Red Cliff half liner into the Red Cliff. And like I said, it's going to be the same uh, for the other side if you got the full liner. Um, as you can see, we got, the, we got plenty of room for the stove here. This liner can be used uh, with the stove. So, yeah, hopefully that, guy, that helped you guys out with uh, installing the Red Cliff liner. Um, for more informational content, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube and uh, hit us up on our customer service line if you guys got any, any further questions on this. All right, you guys have a good one.